Do you know how much money you make each month? Duh. Okay, this you probably know. What about how much you spend on extra treats each week or in a year? You know, like those extra donuts with friends, a Friday night beer, and some chocolate for your mom. How could this information be important? Let's say you spend $20 each week on treats. That's $1,040 in a year and $78,000 in a lifetime. Bet you never imagined such a number, huh? I know how much I earn. Actually, I have no clue where all of that money disappears. This happens to a lot of people. This happens in large companies as well. But that's why they have a team of professionals called procurement. They exist to make better decisions based on how much companies are spending. Just like if you would decide to save all that money and go to Disneyland. Nowadays, companies make sense of their cost through something magical called procurement analytics. And today, we will explain it all. Three dresses for the price of one. The Department of Purchases to buy efficiently and honestly. Procure. Feed information to this electronic data processing system. How big is big data? So, knowing that procurement is the team that does the purchasing for a company in a smart way, what the heck is procurement analytics? This is Lisa. Hi. She likes technology. I do like my iPad. Hi, Siri. What is the definition of procurement analytics? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Procurement analytics is the process of collecting, analyzing data. Effective business decision making doesn't sound very interesting. We agree. That doesn't sound so exciting. But it's really quite simple. Just as the word says, it's analyzing procurement. Okay, okay, there is more. Hey, Anna, you can explain it better. But first, tell us something we don't know about you. Are you gonna use it for something? Yep. Oh, no. At the moment, I like gardening, actually. I sound really old now. <laughs> Think of procurement analytics software a bit like Spotify, where the software analyzes data for you. In Spotify's case, the software gathers information about what your music you're listening to and what similar artists there are and what new music is being published. And it uses that information to recommend some new songs for you that you might like. So in the same way, uh, procurement analytics software uh, gathers information about what you're buying, what others are buying, how the market is behaving, what other suppliers there are. And it shows you that information in a way that you can easily understand and it gives you recommendations about how you could do smarter buying decisions. And you don't have to do any of the manual work. Let's travel back in time, when procurement professionals were just a team of buyers, not strategic decision makers. The early software they used, such as spreadsheets, wasn't set up to inform decision making as it wasn't the priority. What is this? It's Microsoft Excel. Here's Hedda. So, you like spinning? I love spinning. On the bike, you're just like this. <laughs> The companies that use the old software eventually faced another limit because the Excel simply just stay as a number on the computer and they might also turn into one of those really heavy and messy Excel files. Over the past few decades, businesses have gained access to a lot of information and new data which has made it even more difficult to survive with a static spreadsheet. It's kind of like hiring a librarian who can't really find the right bookshelf. They can store the books really neatly for you and keep them safe, but they'll never be able to help you benefit from the data that's actually contained within those books. With procurement analytics, professionals can be the librarians that can find the correct information and be as badass as Morgan Freeman. Whoa, that's a huge comparison. <laughs> the point is, they can benefit from their data by analyzing it and make better decisions based on them. Procurement analytics software makes the data clear, which helps the companies see whether they are on track to hit targets, and if not, to make the decision to take action, and to make people's lives easier. But how does this work? All right, let's start. What should I do? Hey, Yanni, tell us how this works. Hey, I'm Yanni. Get joined. My mic shuts. <laughs> Today, these kind of decisions are made by the procurement teams with the help of procurement analytics solutions. Procurement analytics software extracts the data from all the company's databases, organizes it, 
cleans it up and then visualizes it in an easily digestible format. This way procurement professionals can have a lot more detailed and comprehensive view on the company's data as a whole, finding out where the company is spending their money and where the savings potential lies. Let's explain it with a company that does something we all love, ice cream. With procurement analytics, this company making ice cream could take a deep dive into their data to answer some important questions about their spending, as well as finding opportunities for savings. Like, how much do we usually pay for sugar? Which suppliers of milk give us the highest financial benefits? Did we always get what we paid for? Are we paying more than our competitors or more than the market price? How much will we spend on packaging materials next year? However, if done well, procurement analytics can go beyond just reporting how we spend and how to get savings. Okay, Samoe, show us what you got. <laughs> With this ball? I'm not sure, but let's see. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, let's go back to the ice cream case. Let me give you three examples on how procurement analytics really works. First, procurement analytics helps you do market benchmarking. Let's say the sugar market price has collapsed, but your supplier has not yet changed prices. You can use this data to approach the supplier and negotiate new lower prices. How sweet is that? Second, there's more to life than test price and savings. You probably want to avoid suppliers who are involved in corruption or child labor, and you want to prefer suppliers who are actively driving down CO2 emissions. Procurement analytics can help you with that. Third, for this ice cream company, actually knowing how much has been spent in the past is interesting, but actually knowing how much will be spent in the future is much more powerful. Something for procurement analytics. Overall, procurement analytics is the key tool for companies to create visibility to past procurement data, to give guidance and transparency for future procurement actions, and also an enable for sustainability. In short, procurement analytics can save the world. Okay, maybe it won't completely end all of the world's problems, but with the help of procurement analytics, companies can, little by little, make better and more sustainable choices that could build a better place to live. And on a personal level, it could even get you that trip to Disneyland! Where we are. I don't even know because this is where all the magic happens and, and all the scary stuff. It's the same way! Procurement analyst! This is, it shows you. It's always good to warm up before a workout. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. Second. Second. Third. Third. <laughs> what is procurement analytics for you? Be sure to comment below. And if you like this video, then give us a like.